Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So, I've made a couple of adjustments. Um, not really that many. We've got all our mechs back, all our pilots back. Let's go to the mech bay real quick here. Still on the same planet. Um, we've got a few missions we can do here. So, the urban mech that we got, I basically scrapped it. We kept the engine, but I scrapped it. Um, just so we have a bit of currency here. Uh, we most likely weren't going to use it for anything, so I just got rid of it. The cicada um, wasn't really functioning all that well, so like I said, I just dropped that out of the uh, mech bay as well. It's going to save us a little bit of currency per month. So now we're at it in 400,000, we're down to 360, which isn't too bad. The hunchback I haven't outfitted yet. Not sure what I'm going to do with this guy. Got a couple of ideas. The, if we put the AC-20 in, really all we're running is an AC-20, uh, unless I strip the armor way down. Um, and if I run two um, ER pirate medium lasers, and if I, I can put a small laser in the head as well, it's really not giving us the punch that we want with this mech. Um, the pirate ERs have damage fall up, so you really have to be in close. Now, it would be a melee mech, but we don't have any upper ar arm actuators at all for this thing. So that's something, something that we're going to have to look out for in the future to pick up um, some... Uh, lower arm actuators for this guy, but what I did do is I thought of a good loadout for the assassin. Now I haven't done it yet because it's going to be eight days of repair, and I don't want to spend time doing that right yet. But we can strip out all of this, and we can go with a medium laser in this arm and two SRM sixes. Uh, it means reducing the core from a from a 280 down to the I think it was the 250 or the 240. So it's a little we go to it's rather than 310. Um, top uh, speed it's a 385 which isn't too bad um, but yeah that reduces that down a little bit um, and then we can go with uh, or go to over to the fire starter which I've changed slightly so what we've done our heat efficiency is still really good on this mech um, we pulled out the uh, medium laser that was here put out another flamer in um, and I dropped the ferrofibrous in that we picked up the last time and the comm suite. And I put in a fluid gun and some inferno ammo. I put two tons of inferno ammo in. These are, there's eight per uh, shot. And I got a feeling we'll be shooting a lot more uh, or more than eight. So I just put two tons in. Um, had to pull a little bit. Oh, no, I didn't pull any armor off. Sorry, I thought I did. I thought I pulled a little bit of armor off. But I was thinking about the... Uh, um, the assassin when I was refitting it. So this guy still has the same uh, armor value, but I did have to pull two heat, sink, two heat sinks out, which is okay because we don't have the medium laser anymore, so we're running a lot cooler. So this guy should be a nice super overheating mech. If it hits with everything, uh, that's 30, 60, 90 heat, plus 15 for the next turn. So that's a lot of heat on whoever we're hitting. Um, so it should shut them down, if not in one turn, definitely in two. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of cool. So we're gonna run a lance here. We're gonna take a um, escort mission today. So let's go to the contracts. It may end up being quick. It might not. We're gonna do protect the mechs. It's a two skull mission. I think we should have no problem with this one. So let's negotiate this out. And I think probably what we'll do is we'll go this route. It'll give us enough for our financial report just to top us up and give us some good salvage at the same time. And we're going to run this lance. Uh, I think... Yeah, Sunflower has still got the same stats as pretty much these two down here. So she can just sit out for now. Um, see how Satori does in this uh, in the Hunchback again. And uh, Actually, you know what? I think Sunflower is doing a little better in the Hunchback. Let's bring her back in just to get a bit more experience. Uh, yeah, let's do this and uh, see, how we do, see how we go. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. All right, here we go. So this is a short travel time. Um, just basically along here. Most likely two lances. Could be three. If it's three, they'll be lot, a lot lighter, but uh, we'll see how it's going. Let's just move straight up. We won't know for a moment if we've uh, if there's a lance here yet. Kind of glad I dropped that initiative uh, and resolve. Um, 
cockpit into the uh, fire starter. That plus one initiative, I really want the fire starter to go before most mechs. So if we have the opportunity to shut them down, we can. Commander. It really will shut up most heavy laser built out mechs. Megasaur. So I don't think there's a lance here yet. It's nice that we're fast. These uh, missions go a lot quicker when you have faster mechs. Unless the vehicles you're escorting are really slow. But uh, two skull, they should be pretty quick, I think. All right, no lance at the beginning, which means most likely right, there'll be one up ahead in the second uh, bit here. And if not, then it's going to be probably a tough lance on the third one, on the third leg. Now, normally I want the Wolverine to activate the mechs because it's the fastest, but I want the Wolverine up front because it's also the hardest hitting. So I think Megasaur is going to be the one that's going to activate uh, our lance here. Megasaur is fast, um, but not as hard hitting. So, all right, Comet, let's get down over here. All right. What's up, boss? You're going to activate these guys. Moonwalking. Get you up here. So most likely we got a couple guys down here, a couple guys up here. Yes, Commander. And Sunfire, let's get part way along the road here. Roger. To give the vehicles a place to move to. Got some floating rocks here, some unobtainium rocks. Okay, here it comes. Secure the air in the lands. We're going to make their way to, towards the extraction point, keep them alive. Kintaro. Okay. Shadowhawk. So this should be fun. Shadowhawk, Raven, Wolverine, Bushwhacker. Um, that is not good. They're most likely going to target these guys. What do these guys got? No Dachi, Hunchback, Trebuchet, Taro. Let's start on these guys. Now, do I want to go after... It's the 2x, I have no idea. Three lasers. Don't know here. Let's go after this guy. Two missile launchers. Ballistic, which is probably the AC-5 and a laser. Roger that. Could be Roger a, a medium, maybe? PPC? I don't know. Here comes the whacker. Shit, that's a lot of damage. Let's speed that up. That's a lot of infernal damage. Can you respond to that? No. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. See if we can not kill this guy, but damage him significantly.
Okay, get to where they can't shoot you. Okay. He got lucky. They all got lucky. The Wolverine's just a terrible shot, it looks like. Alright. Stick to the plan, stay on target. Okay, four hits, nice. CT's almost gone, okay. Should be able to smoke this guy next turn, most likely. Oh, you tricky bugger. Destroy one of my double heat sinks, you bastard. And he's going to shut down. Because idiot. Why are you shooting the Wolverine? Yes, Commander. Shoot the guy who's most likely to kill you. Get into here. Let's gun this guy up a bit. Okay, chaff's hitting. Inflicted some heavy damage. Hopefully we can pick up a double heat sink off this mission. I can tell. Ready for orders. All right, everything in this guy's backside. Scored critical hit. I don't know, 47 damage. This will get me covered by my own guys. Let's just go with the missiles.
This is going to be tricky, guys. This guy's a jerk, man. Oh, nice shooting, man. Not sure what the hell that raven's doing, but sure. It should be good. Okay, good. One issue solved. Oh, man. Backside. Critical hit, Commander. Thank you. Come on. I had no idea the Bushwalker had Thunderbolts. Alright, Fire 5. Roger. I was hoping to hit with at least 3. Come on, with a 60% chance to hit? Are you kidding me? Not bad. Could have been a hell of a lot worse than that. I'm receiving you. Let's try and finish him up. Dump it all into his backside. Good thing I brought the extra ammo for those fluid guns. SRM ammo is jettisoned. He's going down. 204. Okay. That's right, man. Keep moving. That'll drop a little bit of heat. Come on. I don't know what I hit. Okay, these guys are finally starting to move again, thank god goodness. Yes! Thank you. See, all we gotta do is knock these fuckers down and let the hunchback take care of the rest. This guy's not moving though. I could, does he actually have any weapons? Or is he just a walking ECM or something, this guy? Oh, he's got SRMs. He's just not shooting. I think he's just sight for the uh, bushwhacker.
Come on, don't shoot me. Just thinking about it. Yes, shoot the hunchback. Okay. Megasaur. All right, going this way. Okay, not bad. Could be a lot worse. Trebuchet is not moving. I gotta get it moving again here. Standing by. Double well, time. Let's go. Wasn't for all this running, we'd be doing really well with heat. All right, fire on these. Three hits. Okay, he's plus 15 this turn and next turn. Jesus Christ. He must have MRM Inferno ammo. Can't vent enough heat. Commander. Got the angle. Take the shot. Okay, torso. It's lost initiative. Okay, trebuchet is finally moving. Shoot something. Damn it. This route, firing. Good angle. Fire it. Ah! Thought we were hit with at least four. Christ, these guys are going to activate this thing and then. God damn it. Gonna have to face like these guys plus the reinforcements if there is any. Alright, fire and everything. He's gonna shut down. You better not blow up, man. Great. My mech is overheating. Oh, 
Come on, kill him. What's up, boss? Moving out. I'm generating a lot of heat, Commander. Uh, that's why I got you down there. All right, fire four. Come on, kill him. Okay, well, at least he's going down. Yeah. All right, what are you doing? Shit, don't go in there. Okay. He's too far ahead now, I think. Commander. You don't need to move, girl. Just fire it all. Taking the shot. Guard a critical hit. Okay. And fire. Nice. Enemy mech destroyed. A lot of good gear in that guy that I had to kill, but Oh Christ. Was not my fault. Roger. Receiving you. Roger that. Come on. Okay, good. Get cooled off here before we go anywhere else. I'm here. Copy that, Commander. Let's get back here where the slowest guys are. Then we can just slowly shepherd them into the into the front here. I don't think he's going anywhere. I think he's too far forward now. Ready for order. Move order A couple squares. Hexes. Waiting for orders. Roger. We'll get our heat back and then we're going to dart out here. Standing by. Location confirmed. I'm here. Okay. See how that works. Up, 
Yeah. Ready for orders. Roger that. Stand in by. All right, we need to get down here where the enemies usually show up. Maybe we got lucky here. Waiting for orders. No shooting, just running. Okay, there it is. Hold this position, man. Enemy detected. The package will be on its way soon. Bushwhacker, Griffin, Wolverine. Thought I saw a vehicle there. I saw a vehicle. Uh, okay. Yes, Commander. We uh, we know which mech is the most dangerous here. Oh, there he is. He's hidden. Um, looks like he's. Looks like this guy says he's dead. Target locked. We almost got him with everything, okay. Commander. Double time, let's go. All right, uh, let's fire a chaff at this guy. All right, at least we got one. So this urban max says it's dead. Yeah, I'll see the small pulse off, fire everything else. Oh yeah, man, I got lucky there. Yeah, I can stand right on that urban mech. Saying it's dead. Roger. Full speed. That's bizarre. Wow, nice shooting. Here comes our dropship. Let's see what they're doing here. If we get lucky, we can pull down the Griffin. Oh, he's got his ba back over here now. Uh, yeah, he flipped around. Going for the best chances to hit. Which gives us the best chance for a kill in a minute. Commander? It's outside flamer range. Let's get into here. Well, optimal flamer range, that is. 
Let's get into here, fire everything. That's everything hit. 83 heat, nice. This guy deserves a little bit of ch oh wow, 2%. Well, we're gonna take it anyway. We already got chaff in the Wolverines, so. There we go. Waiting for orders. So we lost one guy. But that wasn't our fault. He blew himself up, so they can't blame us for that. Everything under this guy's back. Nice. All right, the Griffin's deciding what he's going to do here. Ooh. I saw that. He's got a tag too, the little bastard. Alright, we need to get around there and heat him up. Commander. Let's see if we can take this guy down. His left side's gone. Getting down here. I think we can probably only hit with the medium pulse here. No, nope, everything's in range, right? Fire it all. Good shooting, man. It's unsteady. Can't give up that opportunity. Okay, he's a stick if he doesn't die. He's dead. Couldn't give that up. I think if he wasn't unstable, I probably would have come against this guy here. Mm, whatever I do, he's going to jump behind me. But if we're going to do it, let's make sure we're in the trees. And that if he jumps behind me, his backside's going to be revealed to everybody else. And Vigilance, of course. Firing. Okay, three hits. I'm here. Let's go for the shutdown. Let's do it. No guts, no glory, guys. No guts, no glory. We miss with everything? We miss with everything? I miss. That's f fucking cheating. That was a cheater's cheaty cheat shot. That shouldn't have missed with everything. Are you kidding me? We're almost out of missiles here. Ah, uh, four pack does more damage. If we actually hit. He's got some kind of ridiculous magic shield around him, apparently. Stay in the forest, please. See if we can make him unstable. 
Probably not, but firing everything. Alright, man, what are you doing? He does not like you. Got a target right here. Okay. What's up, boss? On it. Yeah, I was hoping for crits. My mech's coming apart around me. Orders. Heading out. Okay, we can probably get three shots on him this turn. Nope, four. Nice. Let's try for a headshot and fire. Oh, yeah. Can we go with all? Nah. Try for a head and fire. Going, eh? Orders. Copy that. Wow, that's uh, a lot of heat. Watch my heat. Yes, Commander. Confirm. Holding and cooling. Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can blow this leg off. Fire. Wow. Since when do you ever do that? That hit something good. Yes, Commander. Okay, in the open. Going after a headshot. And fire. Headshot. And uh Hmm. Yeah. Come on, headshot. Let's see what he does here. All right, he has to restart. Making this guy unsteady. I copy. Going down. Standing by. Let's give her the first shot at it. Go for a headshot. Leave one flamer off. There we go. 
Headshot. Excellent. All right, 307,000, which is probably what's going to cost us to repair our mechs. That was a tough one. Took a lot of internal here. Uh, lost a fluid. Machine gun got damaged. Uh, heat sink double was destroyed, which sucks because we don't have one to replace it with. Uh, as much as I want to take mech parts, it's just not going to happen. Um, oh, these are really nice. Minus one accuracy, though. Plus two SRM damage. Yep, that's definitely going to be going in. Calm Suites, Endo Steels, really nice. Fire control system improved. Improves the modifier by 10%. Bonus to hit over heating targets. Gyro XL. Come on, double heat sink, double heat sink, double heat sink kit. No double heat sinks though. NSS. Ah. Um. I want the increased damage and the increased crit. Or do I want stealth? Let's lose the double heat sink kit. I think the NSS is more important than double heat sink kit right now. We'll, we'll get more kits than we will NSSs, I think. Thermal bolts. Interesting. Well, let's see what we get out of this. Two bushwhacker, griffin part, urban mech part, wolverine part, medium lasers, machine gun plus. Oh, we got the SRM triple plus. Okay, bonus. Thunderbolt 10, too, as well. Really? Did we get any ammo? No, we didn't. Hey, we got a hand. We need that for the other wolverine. Or the other hunchback, I mean. Um... Okay, actually, overall, case two, actually, that's excellent. We didn't do too bad overall. Let's see what our damages are, though. All right, 28,000, not too bad. 14 days for repair. We have some internal stuff we need to fix, though. So overall, you know, I'm pretty actually pleased with that mission. That's not, this is not too bad, right? This will give us back these guys in six. Um, this is everything back in nine days it's probably the best way to go so that's going to give us a chance to do another mission before the end of the month red comments back in 20 days we have a pilot to replace her with if we have to uh, yeah so that's actually pretty good overall not too bad um, and I got an idea I think what I'll do I might pull out the um, I'm not really happy with the way the fluids gun working in the is working in the fire starter so I think what I'm going to probably do is put the NSS in there with the uh, R-Sheath helmet uh, or cockpit, which is uh, basically an ECM. And I'm going to put it in the fire starter and use it to sprint in and, and uh, melt people down while using the ECM on them and be pretty stealthy at the same time. So I think I'll do that. Um, and the Wolverine definitely needs the new SRM-6. The Assassin, it's an eight-day refit to refit this guy the way I want. So we might take that in and do that as well. Since we have the Assassin being fixed first, I might actually go ahead and do that between episodes just so it's up and running for when we come back next time. We got enough days to be able to do that. Um, we got enough to make our financial report as well, which is awesome, which means we can take a mission next time where we can go for, for a full salvage, I think. Yeah, so we'll do that, I think. All right, so I'm going to end the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like... Um, yeah, um, comments in the comment section down below. I don't know. I'm still thinking about how we're gonna load these guys out. That other hunchback, I gotta figure out. I need a. I need. I gotta get it into battle. So um, maybe I'll explore loading out a temporary loadout on it next time. Um, if we had gotten the double heatsink kit, we definitely would have been able to run it without a problem. But 
uh, at this point it's still kind of iffy um, but we'll see we didn't we didn't get a double heat sink which is going to put our Wolverine in a little bit of overheat problem but uh, maybe we pull it we're not using the small post very much so maybe we pull that out replace it with just um, I don't know something we'll figure it out uh, all right we're gonna end the episode there so I'll see you all guys next time